بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس میں مزمل یعقوب لیکچر ڈپارٹمنٹ آف ٹیکنالوجی اینڈ یو آر انسٹرکٹر فار دس کورس وچ از مٹیریلز اینڈ میتھڈس آف کنسٹرکشن سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ آور لیکچر ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی ڈفرینٹ کوالٹیز آف گڈ بریکس اینڈ ڈفرینٹ ٹیسٹ وچ آر پرفارمڈ آن برن کلے بریکس and uh, in the last part of our this video lecture uh, we will discuss about different types of bonds right means uh, different type of brick masonry bonds so let's discuss the qualities of good bricks so bricks required for use in important buildings should have the different characteristics and uh, essential features of first class bricks uh, as defined so let's discuss them one by one so the first one is these should uh, have the uh, uniform red color uh, in other words uh, well burned bricks having uniform red color the second one is free from cracks means uh, their surfaces uh, should free from cracks and uh, should have sharp and uh, well defined edges the third one is these should give a uh, clear ringing sound when struck against uh, each other the third one is uh, these should be uh, hard that no impression should be felt when scratched with uh, fingernails and uh, then comes uh, absorb absorption so no brick should absorb more than 15% of its weight of water when kept uh, in it for 24 hours and uh, the last one is uh, about uh, these should have uh, no whites or free from whites so these are the some important uh, qualities of good bricks now moving towards the next part of our lecture in this part uh, our focus is on tests so a burn clay brick is generally subjected to the following uh, test to find out its stability for construction work so basically over here uh, we have these three tests the first one is compressive strength to check the uh, compressive strength of the brick the second one is uh, about water absorption to check the water absorption capacity or capability of the brick and uh, the last one is uh, efflorescence to check the presence of uh, salt in the brick so let's elaborate them one by one so the first one is a uh, about compressive strength means a uh, compressive strength of brick is a uh, find out by placing it in compression testing machine and uh, it is compressed till it breaks and uh, we have these uh, minimum ranges of uh, crushing strength for example for the first class brick is uh, 105 kg per square centimeter and uh, for second class brick is uh, <coughs> sorry for the second class brick is a uh, 70 kg square per centimeter and uh, for third class brick is 40 kg per square centimeter so uh, how we perform this test uh, in lab by place uh, by placing the specimen between the plates of compression testing machine uh, over here in this picture Uh, you can see applying the axial load at the uniform rate of uh, 140 kg per square centimeter uh, per minute till failure and uh, then the maximum load at the failure divided by the average area of the bed face bed face so it gives us the compression strength so this is how it is done the next one is uh, water absorption test 
water absorption of brick is find out by placing specimen in uh, emerged cold water at the temperature of uh, 25 centigrade or between 27 to 28 for 24 hours so over here in this picture uh, you can see the bricks are placed uh, in the water so how it is uh, done in the lab so basically uh, the bricks emerge in the water for 24 hours uh, then dry specimen is uh, put in a temperature for uh, I think 24 hours till it attains its mass then uh, weight of the specimen is recorded uh, which is W1 then the dry specimen is uh, again placed in the water for 24 hours and uh, taken out take the specimen out of the water and uh, get its weight which is w2 so minus the w1 from w2 and uh, multiply with 100 so it will give you the water absorption of water absorption value of the brick and uh, the last one is test for uh, effluence or checking the effluence which means the brick should not show any salt or white deposit after uh, emerged in water for 24 hours so over here you can see the presence of uh, effluence or salt on the surface of the bricks so how it's how this test uh, is carried out in the lab by placing uh, one end of the brick in 25 mm depth of water in a dish of minimum diameter 150 mm and uh, the experiment is performed in well uh, ventilated room at uh, 20 centigrade then uh, the examine that uh, all the water in the dish is either absorbed by the specimen or is evaporated after that specimen have dried and uh, added the similar quality of uh, quality of or quantity of water to the dish again and uh, let it to be absorbed by the specimen or uh, evaporate as before and uh, after that examine the specimen for effluence and uh, see how it looks like means uh, presence of effluence shall be classified as uh, moderate heavy or serious so moving towards the next slide means uh, types of brick masonry bonds so the most commonly used type of brick masonry in brick bonds or in other words uh, bonds so before uh, we start these types let's uh, discuss the some parts of bricks so over here in this picture you can see uh, the top face of this brick is called cores or known as cores and uh, the side face of this brick which is the longer face is called stretcher and uh, the shorter face of this brick which is known as header so we should know about these three parts as well then we will easily understand about these four bonds so let's discuss one by one the first one is stretcher bond stretcher bond is also called uh, as running bond and uh, is created when bricks are laid with only their stretchers showing so over here in this picture you can see that stretchers are clearly shown and uh, overlapping the midway means over here you can see the overlaps are midway with the course of the brick below and uh, above so this is how it looks like stretcher bound now going towards the next which is header bond header bond is shorter square face of the brick in header bond all bricks 
in each course are placed as header on the faces of the wall so over here in this picture you can see the shorter faces of the brick and uh, which are clearly shown and uh, all the courses are placed as header on the faces of the walls so this is the second type of header means second type of bond now the third the third one is known as english bond uh, english bond in masonry uh, means brick masonry as a uh, one course of stretcher only and a course of a header above it right over here in this picture you can see one course of structure and uh, then one course of header so in the then one course of stretcher and then one course of header so how this is continues and uh, also mm, it has two alternative courses of stretchers and uh, headers headers are laid centered and uh, on the stretchers in course below and each alternative row is vertically aligned so this is how it looks how it looks like so now coming towards our last slide which is uh, about flemish bond so flemish bond is also known as dutch bond I mean in some standards call it Dutch bond and uh, in some books it is Flemish bond so it is created by layering alternative headers and stretcher in a single course right means in a single line so over here in this picture you can see one brick is light uh, showing its stretcher and uh, another brick is laid showing its header then the next one next brick showing its stretcher and uh, so on so this is flemish bond style so this is all about our in this week's lecture so in next lecture we will discuss about some other construction materials inshallah till now love is